He's actually fighting you now. Hello. Have you ever seen a cat in front of the mirror for the first time? What have you noticed? Scared, nervous, confused, right? Uh, it doesn't understand what is happening. Uh, it doesn't recognize what is that thing that moves just like it. It thinks that it's another cat, right? The same way, when you uh, look at yourself for the first time in a video, the effect is very similar. This is because uh, just like animals, we tend not to recognize, you know, not to recognize ourselves. Most of the time we have only one perspective, the external world, uh, how we see it with our own eyes. Our perception on how we experience things from inside is different uh, from how others perceive it, perceive us. In that moment, we are the others when we uh, watch our recording. I'm telling you this because one of the exercises that I have my students do is um, recording. I hate them record themselves in order to gain confidence in speaking. And I also have them give themselves feedback. It's actually the probably the most difficult thing that they happen to challenging they happen to to face during my course. But then uh, they thank me for being so uncomfortable and then gaining uh, confidence. 95% of the students who do this for the first time are not comfortable at all. They find all sorts of problems and lacks in their communication skills. And this is quite normal if you're comparing yourself with an ideal target or with another person in your life who speaks perfect English. But the truth is that comparing yourself to others will not make things better. It won't make you get anywhere better. It will make you feel small and stuck where you are. The more we notice mistakes, the smaller we feel, no matter how hard we try improving. So there is one thing you can do. Actually, there is only one thing that you can do. Change your mindset. What do I mean? I mean that you need to be kind and uh, st start being kind to yourself and being comfortable. Start appreciating what you have achieved in already in your English course, in your English path. Um, what have you improved? Is that your fluency? Is it your grammar structure? Give yourself points. Reward yourself. Buy an ice cream, a pair of shoes, a holiday, a plant, I don't know. Um, because a reward will give you confidence, actually, will uh, make you love yourself. Number two, uh, ask yourself a question, which is the greatest aspect that makes you unique, even when you talk in English? Not that our communication skills don't change when we speak another language. Communication is an attitude. So if we are open-minded in our first language, we're also open-minded in our second language. And this will, will reflect our actions, our choices in how we speak. 
if uh, we make eye contact in our mother tongue, the same will be in, in English. If we like sounds, your pronunciation skills, your listening skills probably will be very good. Now, note that most of the time, students don't uh, recognize the things that they already have. So their pronunciation is nice, it's good, but the use of preposition sucks. It's okay. Don't forget that you have pronunciation skills though. That is a strong point, which does not mean that you won't improve on your prepositions. You will uh, work on prepositions, but don't forget your pronunciation skills. That's it. If we are perfectionists in our first language, we will behave the same way in the same way in another language. And no one is perfect when speaking a second language. So you can only be natural by using the vocabulary you already have. The more you're comfortable with yourself, the more you're perfect. It's paradoxical, but it's true. We are perfect because we are unique and we need to recognize that uniqueness. So don't give up on recording yourself. It's only the beginning. The beginning is always difficult, but then you will start familiarizing with that other person in the mirror, just like the cats. Okay? You'll see the results. Try. Don't give up.